just, I can literally just know that my ears are quite big, actually. <laughs> God, I look like a monkey or something. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, it's fine. No ears it, why would it won't focus now? There we go, now it focus, yeah. alright. God, the, it's going to be on and off all the time, <laughs> all this video. It's going to be crazy. Alright, so, should we, should we be in? Ready? Yeah, okay. Alright. All right. <coughs> we're, we're, we're swaggy. Uh, yeah. Trust me, we're swaggy. Why did it not focus? I caught it, I caught you know, it out. Just, just don't, just <laughs> ignore it. Just ignore it. If it goes out of focus, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> you probably, okay. So, <sighs> hello, we're going to be doing a, a podcast. This is going to be about new series, Companions, and we're joined with this new guy. Oh, I'm replacing Kane. Definitely. No, not really. <laughs> Kane's amazing. <laughs> I promise you, I, Kane's Kane, amazing. Kane, uh, master overlord, god among men, with his co-star, <laughs> Boxman. <laughs> Boxman. He, he's, <laughs> oh, I love Boxman. Yeah. Got, wait, Boxman. Wait, where's the pen? I want to make Circle Man. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that will, that will be a thing. <laughs> that will be, be a thing. Anyway. So we're going to be talking about we we technically agree on most of um, yeah. of the new series companions. So we don't really agree on much. So so we'll just <laughs> we really <don't. laughs> oh why is it not focusing? Okay, so we'll just ignore it. Okay, so yeah, so we're going to go from most favorite to least favorite. So why don't you start us off? What, okay, the... this is my favorite, and I he's probably been my favorite for since I ever saw him. Captain Jack. My favourite oh, too. God, I love because him. of the spin-off mostly, but... Yeah, yeah, probably because of yeah. the spin-off because his own shows. I found him a bit too over the top and a little bit too much in yeah. The Empty Child. Yeah. In the World like, War Two one, you know, the gas yeah. mask. I found him a bit, like, too much, too, that too flirty. That terrified me as a kid. I yeah. was so scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that transformation scene in the hospital when he, yeah. you just see the, oh, you just yeah, see the gas mask. that's so mask. weird. Like, it's like... <laughs> just coming out of his mouth. Yeah, and that and the actor, I've forgotten his name, but he's a really good actor. They didn't expect oh, they'd oh, get yeah, him, yeah. and so, and so they didn't really give him a big part. And if they knew they were going to get him, then they'd make him, they'd make the character more important. Yeah. Oh dear, Captain Jack's a great, a great companion though. I I like him, but in that episode, he's a little bit too much. Like he's too sweet. Like like yeah. Yeah, he just. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's amazing in Torchwood, though, yeah, and he's yeah. amazing in in the Master episode. Oh yeah, Martha yeah, Martha Jones. Yeah, oh, I love those three, like those yeah, three parts. Yeah, they were so yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, you don't really get many three parts yeah. in, in the new series. I don't know how many but, times I've watched those three. parts. Yeah, those three <laughs> episodes is I, I enjoy. The first one is really, really good. The middle, yeah. the middle one is a little yeah, bit. It's, it's like still, it's, it's all right. and stuff. And, but the third yeah. one's really, really good. I, I love, I love John Sim as the master. Yeah, he's, he's amazing. He's, he's such a good master. Yeah. But we're talking about, yeah. we're talking <laughs> about <laughs> companions. I mean, anyway, maybe yeah. the master's a companion. Maybe, well, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, so yeah, Captain Jack. Um, he's amazing in the, in, yeah. this, in this in Torchwood. Um, I, there's no time where I've found him. He's he's really, really funny. He's one of the funnier companions yeah. and I like him and and I think he's he's I don't understand why people think that some other companions are better honestly I, I just like him mm. he's just a great companion right. yeah and yeah. he's gay so we got that yeah one. exactly <laughs> I mean I mean the new series likes to point out that things are normal yeah Pe- people being gay you know black yeah. people being as as valuable yeah. uh, all of that you know which the classic yeah, series so. didn't do as much. Oh yeah, you couldn't, we couldn't really do that in that time. <laughs> no, yeah. So a bit too controversial. Yeah, a bit too controversial. Yeah. Right. So, so um, next on the list is Amy Pond. Oh, it's, she's my definitely. She's telling me my favorite. You guys in movie. the comments, whoever, who, because there are a lot of people who hate Amy. Yeah. Just why? shut up. Why? Just, the hell does the, I know. I mean. I don't. Okay, so the so the doc so um the head writer Stephen Moffat said that companions are so that the new series companions are all meant to be twenty first century women so that like people in general like Mickey or Captain Jack and Amy are, to, are meant to be re- so that the audience can relate to them mm. and and the people are saying that you can't relate to Amy. I don't know why they say that. Yeah. I mean, I've got an interesting point about that for Clara, but that's later on. Yes. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Clara. Oh, yes. So, um... I, just, I love the first episode of Amy. She's yeah. like a little girl and, like, she's feeding him stuff. It's <laughs> yeah. so great. And he spat that. all of it out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Love, like, fish oh. fingers and... Yeah. Custard. I, I don't know why I love that. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, um, the, the audience, 
complained that that um that that they were being that the doctor was being offensive to ginger people saying, Oh, I'm still not ginger, good. That's what they yeah. thought. And they didn't get upset when he said to young a little girl, Amy Pond, saying, Hey, you're Scottish, fry something. Yeah. <laughs> that, that doesn't make sense to me. That doesn't make sense. It's ugh. anyway, yeah. Amy's Amy's really good. I like I like that because you meet River Song before, yeah, don't yeah. you? And mm. and you don't and you have no idea that it was what in was it? one of the Oh, the, shadows. the, the silent... The Silence not, in the not, library. Yeah, Silence in the it. library. And you didn't know who River Song was and yeah. until... And it's really cool how there are clues to the future of the show that they make, like, years before they yeah, happen. Because what was that? Like, in 2009, the uh, um, library one was... They had, uh, yeah, Donna, right? So yeah, they, so it would have been 2009, I think. Yeah. And, um, and then it was 2011 when... When uh, we found out who River Song really was, I think. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was really. I really, really liked how what they did with Amy, and her departure made like it really upset me. Actually, yeah. it really upset me. I, I mean, we. I mean, we had her had her for a long time, longer mm. than any other, because she was two and a half years. So, yeah. that may be part of it. I also kind of yeah. like Rory when. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that I think that counts as one though yeah. point because Rory yeah. is kind of a part of Amy and. Yeah. That sounds weird, but you know, <laughs> like it, it, yeah. R- there isn't an, a Rory without an Amy. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It would be a bit yeah. boring if it was. Yeah, like, it was just Rory. Yeah, and I, in ser- in series six, people don't like series six, but I like it because of the character development between Amy and Rory. Because yeah. the episode when the TARDIS is alive, when they're walking through it, and and house um. <laughs> okay <laughs> well house is just tormenting them as they're trapped I, oh, in there uh, yeah, and rory's so, just yeah. aging and yeah. it's oh like, yeah no, it's so yeah. creepy that that, was that so scene weird. that was fucking for, like, that was fucking creepy Amy i know oh the skeleton the skeleton yeah. of rory oh that was actually really creepy yeah. <laughs> and then there was the other one where um where they were stuck on that um planet and uh and amy wasn't like a faster faster time stream and she grew old and Rory, um, Rory had like an hourglass, like a like a, yeah, and right. and they had to save Amy from her old age or something. Yeah. That was good. I I like what they did with Amy and Rory, and I I don't know why people hate her. I don't why don't know why they people hate them. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. so what's next on the list? Yeah. Good old favorite Sarah Jane. Yep. Technically, this doesn't count because she's not really a new series companion, but. She got her own spin-off in the new series area, so yeah. we're counting it. And Plus, she was in an the the Dalek one, the big. Oh yeah, thing. yeah. Not forgetting she was in the one with the Krillin. Oh yeah, that yeah. One, that yeah, one. yeah. That's what that was what I was thinking yeah. of. But uh, yeah, so yeah. Stupid. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I should just leave. <laughs> yeah. Right, um, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I I like Sarah Jane, and I to be honest, I like her more. Like mm. when she in when she's older. Yeah, um, she's yeah. she's great I, I in the classic know. series, and I can understand why people liked her. But I but I liked I liked um, I like um, it's water in the cups. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone wants like this, is water. if anybody was wondering, that's water. You can't even see that. Yeah, it's not, it's not tea. Focusing. You don't know how it's to make not, tea. No, I don't know how to make. I do know how to make tea. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll make tea next 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 <laughs> next. Podcast. Like we'll have tea. tea. <laughs> I know how to make tea. You don't. <laughs> next next video is a tutorial on how to make tea. Yeah. Okay. So yes. Um. <laughs> I haven't really watched many of the the classic Sarah Jane episodes. No. I've just watched the uh, all of the Sarah Jane adventures. Yeah. Sarah Jane adventures was good though. Yeah. I, I really really like Sarah Jane adventures. Well. When I when I was growing up watching that one. I, uh, did you watch the episode where um Clyde's dad had the had the um pendant? And oh yeah, him, yeah. That one, made him like that one really, really creeped me out like, when I was younger. So that really scared like, me as a kid. That really yeah, did. That was so weird. I was like, "Whoa, this yeah. is so cool!" And like, he's there on like. Yeah. It was so creepy. I I I like that was my first one. I think. Yeah. That's what that's like, nostalgic memories. That's what I can think of straight away. Yeah. It's just him with that mark on his hand. Yeah. That's... And then just those weird blue veins yeah, going up his arm just and just like... up his neck. And then it's he so could creepy. Like, tell people, he could tell, like, he'd get things he wants, and he tells Clyde yeah. to get people. It's oh, so that's cool. so, it's just so creepy. And, like, Sarah Jane comes along and he's like... And then there was this really oh. creepy backstory about it with Unit or something. I can't remember what it was, though. Oh, yeah. There was a really creepy backstory, which really gave me the chills. 
It was really good, like, though. They used to skin people. Or something. Oh, I think it was something like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, really it was a good. It was a really Sarah Jane was good when yeah. you were growing up, and you and you wouldn't think that it would scare kids, but it did. That episode really creeped me out when I was yeah. younger. Yeah, should we move on? Yes. You like Rose a lot, so we put it. So like so Rose. we put her at number four. Explain your reasoning. I mean, um, I liked her, but well, well, she was like the first companion, yeah. like I've I've ever seen. Every, like. The first Doctor Who episode, it was Christopher Eccleston, Captain Jack and Rose, and I was like, yeah, that, loved it. That's my oh. favourite TARDIS team, actually. That's first my... episode I've ever watched, and it was, was so that, good. Wait, yeah. was, that, was, that the, um, was that the Empty Child? Or was that... Yeah, it was, it was the yeah. first part. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was your first one, then? Yeah, my oh, first cool. ever episode. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. That's a good one to start on, actually. Yeah. <laughs> that's a really yeah, good it's episode. It's quite terrifying. Well, I stopped <laughs> watching it halfway through, but yeah, sure. <laughs> it's pretty really creepy. Yeah. yeah. That's my favourite TARDIS team, and... Yeah, Captain Jack is obviously amazing. And um, Rose is alright. I mean, I really find her annoying in Series 2. I yeah. find it too romantic in Series yeah, 2. Yeah, they just got like, a bit too close. It just no, really I, don't, I don't like it. I don't yeah. like it in Series 2. The Doctor series doesn't really have... He he's not really much of, like... I don't know, like... No, no, like, no, no. Not really you don't really, you're not supposed to have yeah. romance, like, with the Doctor and someone yeah, else and yeah, his companion. That isn't... Just... Supposed to be a thing. Yeah, he just he doesn't seem doesn't, like that much of a lover, really. He doesn't, no, he's more like. No, it doesn't work. I don't know what to call. It. No, <laughs> I, don't I don't know what to that. call it. I don't know what to call it. Um, I mean, it's a bit weird that to have a nine hundred year old time yeah. lord go <laughs> out with, with like a what was it twenty four year old? No, she was like twenty. I think, oh god! Like, no, 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 no she's nineteen for a long time. Oh god! Like, yeah, oh my god! No wonder Christopher Eccleston left. <laughs> <laughs> they just come into my box, the leather jacket guy Ooh, says to the on. little blonde girl. I can oh show God. you my... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we'll stop it there. <laughs> yeah, okay. right. yeah, so we put Mickey after Rose because it's kind of like a similar thing. Rory and Amy kind of thing. Yeah, like, yeah it really is. Have, uh, yeah, Mickey without yeah, Rose. Without Rose yeah. I found Mickey quite unbearable and a bit annoying yeah, in a bit annoying. series one with, with um, Christopher Eccleston. I found it... He, first of all, he was timid and weird, but then he just became irritating and just like, mm. I hate you, Doctor, and everything. Mm. Yeah. But in series two, he was he was amazing. Yeah. I, I love I love Mickey in series... I love him all the way through, apart from I, in series one. I kind of like the relation to, it, relationship between... <laughs> yeah, relationship, <laughs> relationship between... Between Captain Jack and Mickey. It was just yeah. so, like... like They were, like, fighting, but yeah. they were, like, oh, it's so cool. And yeah, fighting. it was so fun. Captain was so... Cheesecake. And... Yeah, 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 Mickey Mouse and all that. Yeah, Mickey Mouse, yeah, just... Oh, I love it. And when they came back together again on the, uh, going back to the Dalek episode, yeah. what's it called, you know? What's that episode called? Oh, uh, Stolen Earth, wasn't it? So, yeah, that's called, it, Stolen yeah. Earth. That, yeah. when they came back. And all the... All like, all, together is yeah, just... I mean, that was basically like Russell G. Davis saying, I still have contact with all of my cast members. I'm going to shove them in the same episode. <laughs> but it was good. It was a good yeah. two-part, though. It wasn't that bad. Yeah. But, yeah... I, I like I like Mickey. I like his he, yeah. he like Captain Jack. I love his humor. I love his humor. I love I love his one of the only black uh, camp companions. So yeah, but, but yeah. So we'll get on to we'll continue with that later. But next is Donna. Donna. Straight away, oh. I've got to say, Catherine Tate is supposed to be a com- is supposed to be a comedian. Yeah, and yet she pulls this off. Yeah, she is. In episode two with the volcano episode, I forgot what it's called. Um, yeah. She she cries and her is so good. I was like, oh my god, Donna, you're amazing. <laughs> yeah, she Just... she was. I think I think it's kind of like at first having her back was kind of fan service because she was in the Christmas special yeah. a couple of years before, yeah. and they were like, we want her back. She was amazing, yeah. and and she did. But after episode two, everybody was like, God, she is actually a really really good companion, and and she <laughs> she isn't just there just to please fans actually. I think she was really, really good. She was. She was such I a really, really loved Donna. She's really good. I think maybe the uh, the Ood episode was my favourite from her. Yeah, she was so her performance in that, her, yeah. Like, even though they're these disgusting looking things, they uh-huh. just like, oh my God, what are they doing to her? Exactly. And stuff. It's just exactly. So and it really like mirrors stuff about slavery. Like, yeah, that's, it's really yeah. prominent to the time when it was broadcasted yeah. about slavery and all that. So, ugh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she was only there for one series, but it was yeah, a good one. It was, it was really very good. good. They, very good. And I loved her chemistry with all of the other uh, companions in the Stolen Earth episode. Yeah. I thought it was kind of fun. And how she, technically, 
technically Donna's technically an incarnation of the Doctor because of the Doctor Donna mm-hmm. thing. So that was yeah. technically Do- regeneration yeah, as Doctor well, Donna wasn't it? Because that cool. was technically a regeneration. So <laughs> technically Donna, like Donna she, is a Doctor. When she actually turned for the Doctor a bit, but you know she couldn't quite handle it. Well, yeah. 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 Good. I like that. Right. Yeah. So, moving on, we'll have um, like Mickey and Rose. We have Wilf. Donna's oh, granddad. Yeah, was, granddad. Was that yeah we list. forgot Sorry. to be on the list there, but yeah, yeah we have a little list. Yeah, say that, but then yeah. So <laughs> right. yeah, Wilf is. Good. I like him. I like him. He was um, only he was only really a companion for the Master episode, the yeah, end like of time. A few like a few episodes. He made here cameo there. appearances like a bunch. Of, actually, no, he was in the Sontaran episode mm-hmm. when he was stuck in the car. He technically, oh, yeah, held, yeah, he yeah. technically mm-hmm. was there around. He was in Donna's the. Donna's mum came with a nap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Oh, oh dear. Don, yeah, Donna's like... family is just full of lols. Just quite really funny. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I like I like Wilf. I think he's. And also, the actor played in. Uh, play, acted as a character in the Peter Cushing Dalek movies. Right. He played as the policeman. Okay. You won't even know that. But just fun fact the actor played, played Doc 2 before that in the. Back in way back in the classic years, but yeah. Right. So moving back on, as we were saying to to black companions, yeah, yeah. we have Martha. Yeah. The first, no, not the first black. Yeah, the second, no, but like yeah, the second. But she's technically she was the first black companion to be ever on the yeah, show. Yeah, to be, like to, a be whole, to be a uh, whole whole series yeah. starring her with with the Doctor, which I think was really really good. Yeah. yeah. So um, she wasn't really, like she didn't really have. That to me, she wasn't really that good. She no, was just a bit I mean, average. I, I think she was. She was. She, she, didn't she really was have kind of special to her. Yeah, she didn't really have that much in, interesting. So there wasn't anything that defined her, to be honest. But I mean, I like. I like that in the series three in general. I like. I like some of the episodes. Like I, I love the episode Blink, and I love the one with the yeah, scarecrows and all oh, that. God, the scarecrows. It was. Oh, God. So, <laughs> series three. I've had had some great episodes and all that. So yeah, it was, it was it was great. Right. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I, it was it was good, and uh, yeah, so it had, yeah, it was, seriously, it was good. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stuff of Harold Saxon and all that was, oh, was really yeah, good implementing, yeah, and, good. and her and her family was like implementing her family. Kind into of like, it was a doctor, and she was also a. Well, she wasn't a doctor, but yeah, she, she was like, trained to be yeah, one, but yeah, she was yeah. like two yeah, doctors she, she, she was great. Like this. Martha, was, Martha was a good companion, I yeah. guess. Oh, God, I just realised what the next <laughs> yeah. one was. Okay, anyway, My yes. absolute favourite companion <laughs> ever Clara Oswald! Oh, she's so Where great. can we begin? Um, well, we can begin by she ruined Doctor Who for me. <laughs> that could be a start. She, I thought she, let's start from like the beginning. Like I don't know. hate her as much as him, yeah. but I, f- I find her annoying. I don't hate her, but I find her annoying. I, I hate her. But I'll explain I that in a minute. Tell, I will murder her. This will be fun. The views. So, <laughs> I like the first episode she was in. She was in that uh, Dalek, and she was bacon and stuff. And oh yeah, she was, she was good in that. Well, yeah, I liked her. And then, and then later on. She was in the, what, the Snowman episode, which yeah. just didn't make any sense to me. Like, to be honest, just, I found her really annoying in that one. She was, yeah. s- her annoyance was so strong, I just, really annoying. Yeah. But yeah, Series 7, actually, <laughs> thinking about it, apart from the Snowman episode, she wasn't that annoying with Matt Smith, thinking yeah. about it. She wasn't as annoying. Yeah. She was a bit annoying at times, I guess. I mean, she, she asked stupid questions, which... Companion, even companions, other yeah. companions don't really ask that questions that are that stupid. I do, I do always enjoy the, the questions like, oh, it's, big, it's small on the the outside, bigger on the inside. Yeah, like, I always love those questions. But, yeah, 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 things like that is, are good and all, but yeah, she's, but I find she... I find it so. I think what's annoying is that is that she was an essential part of Doctor Who altogether. They made her such a prominent piece in the show. Yeah. They made. Basically, she went into the Doctor's time stream and she saved him from everything which he's ever done. Yeah. Which is just basically... That, no, that was just... I was like, no, no, no I'm out that... of here. <laughs> and then, it was and really like, irritating. I was like, they keep showing the same clip where she's falling or something. Like, I'm saving the Doctor. By oh falling down falling down his time stream. Oh my God, that's so great. I'm the best companion ever. <laughs> I, I saved, know exactly I saved the do. Doctor a thousand times. I'm immediately oh. the best companion. But yeah, I I just I find that annoying. But what I really hate is that she she sparks the Doctor to travel in the first place, which is so annoying. Yeah, oh, um, 
ages. Yeah. Like you know, when 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 she was in the barn in on Gallifrey in that one episode with the yeah. with the creepy oh, and, um, monsters, she. Yeah, when she said when she recommends a TARDIS to her, like yeah, she like, literally did everything for the Doctor. I just like, hate that so much. That's just no, no. What is no? That's no. <laughs> okay, so also her death scene was good. The episode where she died was satisfying, <laughs> but I mean, but I mean, I mean, like yeah, it was done uh, well. I'm like, oh, okay, they 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 they've, they've given her a good exit, but then they bring her back in the episode yeah. Hellbent. I mean, just just leave her, just leave her dead. The episode when she when she died is probably the only episode I saw of that series. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I watched a few bits. Yeah, but just I, I but, hated. But the doctor, br- what the doctor, when the doctor found Gallifrey at the end of series nine, um, he she he he brought back Clara, oh, and Clara like, came back, and now she's still alive somewhere. That's yeah. what's annoying. So she she could come oh. back at any moment. She she won't. She the actress yeah. won't come back again. But the thing is though, it's really yeah. annoying is they won't just let her die. They won't let the character die. Yeah. They let Amy die. Yeah, so no exactly. One no, one bought, no one cared about her. No, the doc, they didn't make the doctor go to Gallifrey and make yeah. him, Amy and Rory come back. <laughs> that would be good. Ah, oh. like oh yeah, we your companions again. Yeah, just let you lose. You lose Clara. I'm, I'm going. I'm going back to Amy and Rory. They're much <laughs> better friends. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um. Yeah. Oh dear! She's just you know, a bit she was just so irritating. Always knew what to do. Yeah, I mean, she's never just like, I don't know what to do here. Mm. Yeah, so, I mean, I think that's it. I mean, oh no, we forgot Adam. Yeah. Oh my god, I completely forgot about him. Oh my god, oh my god, it's so annoying. What time is it actually? Yeah. So, oh, so annoying. Um. Yeah. So Adam is the worst companion in the world. Oh, yeah. He was only there for like two episodes. He was in the episode Dalek. Yeah, he was in. He um, was like, he was bearable in that one. That was the first time I ever saw a Dalek. I was like, oh, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it was, it was. I think it was the first time I did see a Dalek. I think I'm not sure though. But the thing is though, it's so annoying. Is that oh, he's just so irritating. The episode, yeah. the episode when when they go back to Satellite Five and he's oh, just yeah. he's just sat in a chair. He's like, I want to for no reason. I'm gonna dissect my head and make my brain just do that and just. Is it? No, they, no, they go to Salon. Yeah, so, yeah, they they don't come back. From oh yeah, like yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, the... yeah. I think the episode would have been bearable if Adam wasn't there. Yeah, I think it, because the episode is kind of boring, I guess. But Simon Pegg is really good all the same. Yeah, I love Simon Pegg, but um, he's his favorite actor. <laughs> <laughs> he's needy. Um, but yeah. Um, so I, so it's so annoying that Adam had to be there. He's like, I'm going to, I'm going to do an operation. I'm going to make my head open up for no reason at all because I feel like it. Yeah. It's so really, it's so even irritating. The, even the actor's not that good. He's just a bit. Yeah. yeah. He in an interview, um, he goes on. I think he's on Corey. I yeah. saw. I, there was an interview. <laughs> <laughs> an interview. He um he yeah he he um he he said the. The um, people would say, like, um, what other shows have you been in? It was like, he's been in this and that. And he said, weren't you in Doctor Who? He's like, oh, oh yeah, I, I think so. He said, yeah, I think he just wants nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, oh, I want to forget. When I, just, just clean out. When I was just, watching Crown just, Nation, I was like, wait a minute. Isn't he from Doctor Who? <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, oh, yeah, oh, he's, 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 oh, yeah, he's like a shame companion. Yeah, <laughs> the, weird brain, the weird brain guy. Just, and his mum. Yeah. Like if I ever see the room. actor, I'm just going to go up, <laughs> click. He's like, just see if it happens. <laughs> just... Oh my god, he's such a shit companion. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, oh yeah. well. Yeah. Um, I think that's it. I mean, I mean, Adam's shit. Clara's bad. Martha's okay. Donna's good. Mickey's good. Rose is great. Sarah Jane's amazing. Amy's amazing. And Captain Jack's phenomenal. Yeah. That's, ba- that's basically <laughs> it. We, we agreed on most, which yeah. is a surprise. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this podcast. I hope you enjoyed his reaction yeah. to Clara. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love Clara so much. Just wanna, you know, hug her and hug her and yeah, hug just hug her, her, just hug her over and over again, <laughs> just again. So yeah, that about finishes the podcast. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.